Phil LeBeau in Chicago. Tesla not the only auto stock riding high today. Shares of Group One Auto accelerating to record highs today. On the back of a very strong third quarter, the stock has now nearly doubled this year so far. This morning, the car retailer reported record quarterly revenue of $3.1 billion. That's a 7.9% increase year over year, uh, powered by, by higher by strong growth in used vehicle sales, up nearly 9% from the same quarter a year ago. Joining us now, returning for a Power Lunch exclusive, is Group One Automotive President and CEO Earl Hesterberg. Mr. Hesterberg, welcome back. Good to have you with us. Thank you. How do you how do you squeeze eight nine percent growth uh, out of a out of an overall market that uh, is growing is basically flat one percent or so, and in many ways is, is declining in sales. Yeah, well, actually, we've just kind of rolled with the market, which is a stronger used car market than a new car market right now. And uh, there's a lot of supply and a lot of good value in used cars. So we've rolled with that punch. And then also we put a lot of emphasis for more than a year now on parts and service. And, you know, there's a big universe of units in operation out there for our brand. So we drove this quarter with strong used car sales and parts and service sales. Why are used cars so hot and where are the, are the used cars coming from? Are they off-lease cars or what? Yeah, off-lease is, is the primary increase uh, in supply. But, you know, new vehicle sales have held up pretty well, and uh, so trade-ins are a big source for us. And the more used cars you sell, the more trade-ins you get. So it's, it's all kind of a cycle. But I would say uh, the off-lease cars are probably what's really different from the market this year compared to two or three years ago. Are sedans dead? Not completely, but 68% of our sales uh, are truck and SUV, and it keeps growing. But, you know, there are still some, some brands that do uh, a lot of sedan business, Honda, uh, Toyota. So mm -hmm. it's not completely dead, but uh, the, market, uh, the market demand is clearly shifting toward uh, truck and SUV and crossover. Earl, does that shift to used cars and parts and services, does that tell you anything about the health of the U.S. consumer or the economy? Well, I, I think it shows um, a little more inclination toward value seeking, all right? Uh, the price of new cars has gone up. Some people are keeping their cars longer and some see used cars as uh, a better relative value. So yeah, there might be a, a subtle message in there of a little more value conscious market. Earl, I wonder, Greg Gipp has a piece in, in the journal today where he talks about peak car and automotive weakness in new in the, for the new car sales obviously come up and everything from 3M's uh, earnings miss today to Germany's GDP slowdown and, and near recession. Uh, is it true possibly that, that U.S. new car sales are, are topping out? And even if so, how strong do you think uh, the used market and the dealer model can continue to be? Well, the new vehicle sales actually peaked out about two years ago at 17 and a half million. And we've been kind of vacillating around 17 million since. For this recent quarter, uh, the retail market was actually up a couple percent. And our new vehicle retail sales were up 2.9 percent as a company uh, this quarter. But yeah, the, the new car market is softer than it was two years ago. But on a historic basis, it's still quite strong. And our business model is somewhat diversified and, you know, with used cars and, and, and parts and service. So I think with people working and low interest rates, um, the auto market's going to stay pretty good, I think, for the, uh, at least for the near term. Earl, thank you very much. It's always good to see you. Thank you for checking in. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Checking on markets, the Dow falling a little bit today.